Hello again. We're back at Coronet Peak. And this is like the only good day this week, so I'm gonna give it a crack. I mean, it's not looking like the best day, and there's actually some mid-level cloud around, which is blocking out the sun at the moment. Yeah, the thermal strength forecast is really good. Height of thermals will go up to about 8,000 in places, um, seven in others, and on the Richardson, it only looks like it'll go up six and a half in some spots. So I'm kind of thinking about staying on the Harris, it looks like it's starting working quite early, which I'm struggling to believe now, looking at the clouds, but yeah, we'll give it a crack anyway. I'm not gonna lie, it looks pretty, pretty rubbish actually. <laughs> I probably didn't need to get up here quite so early. It's half nine, but something pretty drastic has got to change with that high cloud before anything really exciting happens. You can do it! I believe in you! Mouse on your fun bin. Yeah. <laughs> it's raining over there, eh? The route to Wanaka doesn't look impossible though, does it? Looks like it's actually raining over there now, for sure. I actually think we've got like an hour at least before we take off. 10.30. Oh, true. Yeah. Why are we up here so early? The line is opening up. Still looks crap over here. I mean, it looks on, but I don't think we'll get through the Richardson. Marika's getting ready. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so as normal, I'll be shouting out names of mountains throughout the video. And for those of you that are less familiar with the area, I've created a map for context. So this is Coronet Peak, where we'll be starting from, and goal is Roy's Peak in Wanaka. It's a straight line distance of 35 kilometers. And this is Soho, which is just under halfway. There are no roads in between Coronet Peak and Royce Peak, but there is the Mototapu track, which is a three-day hiking track, and it's got one, two, three huts along it. Three days, in my opinion, is quite leisurely, and to be honest, from my experience, if you land anywhere along the route, with a moderate level of fitness, you should be able to get out within about eight hours. So we're gliding over towards Maystown, pretty low actually, only at five and a half and hopefully we come in above this peak. It's got a cloud above it, getting a pretty rubbish glide actually. Uh, so we're halfway to Soho, Maystown's just coming into view. I'm just climbing out of the shade here. Doesn't look that good on Knuckle Peak though, so I don't know what we're going to do. We might, we might end up slope landing somewhere and waiting for the conditions to get better if it doesn't improve soon. But we've got a good crew out today. We've got Woz, Leo and Marika flying at the moment. And then we've got Jack and Ricky who are still on takeoff waiting for conditions to improve. But the thermals are really smooth. We're going to try and get to Wanaka. And then I don't know, we were thinking about trying to fly back again, but it's a tricky day. So the Woz and Leo have top landed on Soho, so we're gonna go and join them. Looks like rain in the Mototapu, and uh, down where we wanna fly, doesn't look great. He's hiking it. He's gonna slam it in like he knows how to. Oh, it's pretty fun landing out the back, eh? Especially when you land at the top of the mountain. So yeah, I don't know, like, it looks on at TC, it just looks like it's raining on the way there. I think our problem's overdevelopment. Like, it's obviously it's overdeveloping behind End Peak and in the Mototapu. Yeah. But like, then if we go over there, where do we go, you know? Could try and get up on the Harwear Ranges and cross over that way. To Creefel and cross on the Far south side. end of Grandview. <laughs> Seems like it's getting worse, you know, like, yeah, just unstable as fuck. But how you said, Ben, between 12 and 1. It'll open up enough for us to get us halfway. <laughs> I'm kind of close now. 
Yeah, and I think it, it did forecast to close in again, but it doesn't look like it's going to close in again. It feels so all in the air and nothing here. Yeah, I think if we launching just fly that way a bit, we'll go up. Oh, it's a bit of a mission just staying out of the cloud today. It's really unstable and the cloud base is quite low. So Leo looks like he's gone over to, to Knuckle Peak pretty low. So the plan at the moment is to get a bit closer to Wanaka. Maybe we top land on Roy's Peak and then try and fly home again, I, I don't know. Now I'm going to come above these clouds, so I'm not expecting to get any lift until I get around the corner. Oh, it's been pretty fun surfing the clouds for the last 5 to 10k. I haven't really had to do much turning. Um, it's really unstable when there's rain showers around. Um, and at times the lift is quite strong. So it's been uh, a bit of work to stay out the cloud, but so far so good. Managed to climb up the side of one. That was quite nice. The trick is not to climb up in the mid, under the center of the cloud. If you can climb on the edge of it, you know that at least you can push speed bar and get off the side. There's Glenn. He's taken off from Roy's Peak and I think he's just been floating around uh, under the clouds here. And that's Roy's Peak, which I'm going to go and try and top land and wait for the others. Everyone seems to have made it through, I think. How's it going? I reckon you would have screamed on the way in if it wasn't a plan. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, probably. Must be amazing. It's a lot of fun, oh, yeah. Incredible. <laughs> yeah. It's quite magic today because um, the low clouds were kind of like surfing in and out of the cloud. It was quite cool. Yeah, we flew over from Coronet Peak. Yeah. It's good fun, eh? Yeah, it's a lot of. Oh yeah, shit, yeah. Can someone pick you up on this side or what? Can you fly back? Yeah, we can fly back. Oh, you can? Yeah. See, there's another one over there. How long did it take you to get here from there? It took us about an hour and a half flying total, maybe less. It's working really well. The, the trick is staying out of the cloud, actually. On the summit, yeah, it was, uh, yeah, it's easy, mate. It was likely coming from the west, southwest. And so what, you guys fly back or? Yeah, we'll probably try and fly back. Coming, uh, <laughs> Beautiful. There you go. So we're on top of Roy's Peak, and the plan is to fly back to Queenstown. We top landed on Roy's and hung out, but still some day left so the plan is to go back. I'm flying with George's, the others have scarpered, Marika has landed in the Mostapu, Waz has gone home, Jack's kept going, 
the cloud base is much higher now, so in theory it should be easier. I'm gonna tell you that I love you 100 times a day, yeah. You'll get tired of my voice, that's how much I'm gonna tell you. So, just coming up on Knuckle Peak, which I guess is about halfway. George's just took the shady line and he's landed um, on that, just below that saddle. And uh, Leo's ahead on this ridge that's got the sun. So I'm going for that one. Get a climb there and then Northern Soho and then it's pretty much in the bag. I'm gonna let everyone know about my love. So I really hope you love me too. Yeah, I really hope you love me too. Oh, we had to work a little bit on Soho. Um, but now I'm leaving Soho. It's nearly 7,000 and we're going back the way we came. It's in the sun, so I'm pretty confident it'll work. And then we'll go tag that peak above Mace Town, and then we should be able to nip through the saddle that separates Coronet Peak and Brow. Leo's ahead. He's a lot lower though. I'm getting a much better glide. Um, and George's is just behind. There's a little bit of wind on Lake Hayes, not much. Walker Tipu looks pretty glassy. Um, so probably looking for maybe one more climb and <laughs> Yeah, it was actually he looks really low You'll get weary of my touch That's how much I'm gonna tell you that I want you I wanna let you know Yeah, fuck Looks like I'm going to have to land here. Bugger! Alright, I'm going to have to walk up over there and then launch off the other side. Hee <laughs> hee! Uh, this is Ben. I've slope landed on the back of Brow. I'm on the windy side now. No wonder it wasn't going up on the other side. That'll do. I'm going to tell you I'll miss you if you go Yes, I'm gonna let you know Just how much I tell you mama Just gonna fly over this sunny ridge See if I can get a bit of a climb I've just did a bit of soaring back there to get a bit of height Hopefully I can get something here But I should be able to easily clear this next ridge And then I'll be trying to get back over to take off again I'm gonna let everyone know about my love So I really hope you love me too Yeah, I really hope you love me too I'm gonna tell you that I need you Well, that was a pretty cool day out. Um, I've landed back at the car park, which is perfect because that's where my car is. Yeah, it was quite challenging at times. Um, tricky, like staying out of the cloud and um, and then it, it stopped working later in the day when we were in the shade. And then I had to land on Brow Peak and Mushroom Up and walk over and fly off. It was bloody good fun. Uh, Leo's landed in the back of Coronet, so he's got a couple hours walking. I'm not sure where George's end up, ended up. Um, and Marika landed in the Mostapu. Uh, was went and landed at home in Monaco. Yeah, I think everyone had a good day. I mean, some people have got a bit more walking than others, but not too bad. Just driving into Flight Park. I'm gonna go pick up Leo. He uh, landed behind Coronet Peak and he hiked back up and he's flown down. And Cerveza? Oh, you've been joking. Oh, yes. <laughs> Here you go, mate. <laughs> 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 Good shit, mate.